so charismatic. Look at that. Look at that performance. Look at the arch in his back. He's had some ballet practice before, hasn't he? Surely. Swan Lake, that. That's some Swan Lake shit right there. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Left Behind DLC. So here we are as Ellie. We're still inside this um, air vent. Is that what you call them? Air vent? Air ducts? Something like that. And we're just, um, we've also encountered a few hunters back through there. We managed to sneak through them and we're actually on our way back now towards um, Joel. Because we've got some medical supplies. So we're going to come out the other end of this, um, this tunnel. Anyone check in here? So there's also infected in the area as well as hunters. I hear infected. So we've actually got a chance here to use a mechanic that's only just been introduced to the game on Left Behind of, um, DLC, and that is using the infected to our advantage by using them to fight against the hunters. So if we throw a brick down here right now, like so, the infected all pissed. The hunters come in. He fights against the infected, and we take out some of the enemy. Take out that guy as well, and this guy. If he takes out one of them, and then that one infected takes out him. We've got one, actually, no matter what happens here, we've only got one enemy left. And it's going to be the infected, which is probably the better thing to stay alive, because... I would always say that infected are easier to sneak around than any other enemy. Holy shit, I think that's glitched out. Oh, that's kind of good for my progress, but kind of shit to display the game. Oh, it's moving again now. It look, if it noticed right then, the infected um, moved itself into the, the T pose, which is the standard pose for any character in games. But he's come out of it now. <laughs> he must have just been um, froze for a second, just strange. So, um, yeah, he's still not going to be a problem, though. Let's see if there's got any... I think we can pick up these arrows as well, which is really good. So we've got three arrows, which is nice. It's really nice. I think that's what we had when we started this encounter. Oh, nice. One more arrow. Is that one I fired? I don't think I fired one over there, did I? So we've got four arrows. So we actually done amazingly well right there by taking out all the enemies that were required to progress and also stocking up on ammo that we fired. So I'm still going to keep on creeping really slow because it is grounded difficulty and that does mean infected are a lot more aware of your presence. If you move um, too loud or fast, their senses are extremely heightened. So we, we could have kind of we could explore in there, I guess, but um, just because there's an infected there, I just want to leave them to it. So we can move a bit faster now. Could do with finding an extra brick or bottle now just to use as a weapon. Need a way around. Okay, so Joel, I think he's in that building there that says swell. Swells. So we need to make our way around. How do we get through this? There's a brick there, nice. I don't think this opens, does it? So we have to go around it. And which way can we go to get around? Maybe there's a shop open on this side we can make our way through. I don't think we need to backtrack and go back into um, that building. Where do we go? Alright guys, it's definitely not inside there that we need to go. Ah, I see where we gotta go now. There's a, um, a ledge there we have to climb up. It's so obvious right now. <laughs> as soon as I've seen it. Normally, in this game as well, they kind of give you a little hint of where to go by having yellow on a climbing edge, whether it be duct tape saying caution, building in progress or something. You know, if you would climb a construction site and the board over this is yellow, so it kind of indicates that you need to go this way. And we've got a rag and alcohol, which is kind of nice. Still can't craft anything because it is grounded under the supplies you do find are so small. Okay. How am I not on full health? I should be on full health. I haven't took any damage, I don't think. And also, you mustn't start on full health. What was that? I just heard Ellie gasp. I was more infected inside here to the right. What are they guarding? Are they guarding something? I'm sure there's no one around that corner. What was that? There's actually some um, supplies on that shelf right there. Oh god. 
How many guys are there in this gang? In this hunter gang? All you ever see is more and more hunters constantly popping through. So, we're going to use the infected again to our advantage. But first, if we can, let's see if we can take out any enemies with the bow and arrow. Just to slim the numbers down. Let's check over here. Whoa! That guy, look at that! Oh, what a death pose that is! That guy's been to acting school, Danny. Take this guy out as well. And if we start to encounter any enemies, we'll kind of throw... I'm going to throw a brick right now, actually, because we've slimmed the numbers down quite a bit. I'm going to throw it from the inside this building, though, through the window, just so the infected do hear it. It's funny, like, the infected are actually like, kind of like my friends right now. <laughs> throw a brick there. So they definitely are out now on the loose. Let's just see how this unfolds. Grab this as well while we're here. As long as the runners get killed before the clickers, that's fine. Check inside here. Nice some stuff. Now let's watch this. That guy's getting bit his face off by a clicker? That could be the last enemy left. Oh, there's a guy over there. So let's let these fight each other. Either way now. If there's two left, actually. Oh shit, no. That's two infected. So I'm going to creep over here. Looks like the runner actually took, took out the um, the human. So I kind of want to take out this um, runner. And now that we've only got a clicker left, we can just leave that alone because it's going to be easy to um, avoid. But before we do actually carry on, let's um, try and retrieve as many arrows as we can that we fired. I know I fired two over this way. Let's just check all these bodies as well. Hopefully we can find some ammo. Which doesn't look like a... Look at these two guys, that's kind of cool. That pose, that guy left right there. So charismatic. Look at that. Look at that performance. Look at the arch in his back. He's had some ballet practice before, hasn't he? Surely. Swan Lake, that. That's some Swan Lake shit right there. Alright, so we're going to just aim avoid this guy. That arrow looks like it's snapped in two pieces over there, so it's not really worth trying to retrieve that. What is this here? It's just like a DVD or something. I thought it, was a, I thought it might have been a... Um, Actually, we could do with retrieving a bottle or brick here before we do carry on. As soon as that clicker's getting a bit close. I'm actually, actually, wait there. Stay there. Stay there. There's two bodies worth to check it out over here. Why right, do none of these guys drop ammo? It's bullshit. Like, they're firing bullets like they've got unlimited bullets, and then all of a sudden they don't actually drop any. I actually got one out of draw then. It's better than nothing. Still can't craft a single thing. So we're getting closer and closer now to finding Joel. Looks like we're going to go through those shutters right there. But before we do go up through there, let's check out what we've got up here. We could find something useful. Although it's most unlikely. Yeah, it's empty. Right, let's carry on. I do have a health pack. So if I do get shot, I'm going to use that. Oh, there's some more dead um, hunters around here. There's an arrow. Nice. So we're definitely stocking up on... Oh, we're going to get three arrows. I thought we had more than that. <laughs> we can make a Molotov. I'm definitely going to make a Molotov because we've already got a health pack. We could do it with more weapons. Shit, okay, they know where Joel is now, that's bad. Take out this guy. The guy over there on the left. Take out that guy. So there's two guys down there trying to break in. Let's tr retrieve this arrow. And make sure it's clear. Fucking door!
We've got a Molotov now, so we can, there's a guy over there on the left. He's a quite he's quite far away, but he's also look he's he's got his back to us. So we may be able to sneak around actually and get a better closer shot. So the guy behind us. There's a guy over there, crap. Um let's go back upstairs a bit. Try and get some cover. He's almost spotting us a few times there. Who spotted me there? I thought I was behind cover. I think that arrow broke just then. I've got no bricks. Shit. Just shoot that guy in the face, why not? I think there's a guy over there, there's a guy over there somewhere. You can see him running around in the distance. Let's hope that these guys have got something I can pick up. Maybe retrieve the arrow. No, nope. it looks like it snapped. Um, no bullets either, which is kind of crazy. I think there's an arrow in this guy. Possibly retrieve this one. Ah, God, all the arrows are broken. It's really unfortunate. He's dead now. I had to take that shot then because uh, there's a brick here. Nice. This guy's dropped a bullet. Where are the guys that were down there? Have, they, have I killed them? There's a guy in cover down there. You can see his top of his head. Ellie can't get a shot over the cover though. See his head behind the green box. Could try and get a shot on him. There he is. If he's the last guy left, which I think he might be, and there's two, shit. If they go back to that door and try and unlock it, I'll be able to throw... Yeah, nice. I should be able to throw a Molotov now at these two. But I'm actually going to do that by going around the other side to get a better angle on them so I can get them both. He just said, yeah, you've got it, so they're getting closer to open the door, really. So maybe i just throw a Molotov from here, actually. If I can get the shot, I will. It's hard to see the angle. You can't see because of it. I think that, 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 that's got to be on target, surely. Yep, yep, they're both dead. We've got a health bar there. That's good. Um, we'll keep all the brick, why not? Bricks are always best, better for Joel, but not. I think they're the same for bot as bottles for Ellie. Doesn't really make a difference. So, it's cleared. Let's see if these guys dropped any ammo. There's an arrow he dropped, that's good. There's no arrow on this t same table. Some health there. Alright, because I've played this before, I know that this isn't the end. So, let's see what happens when we open this. Alright, Joel. Yep. Ellie gets shot. We've got one, two. I think there's two guys up there. There's one guy who was shooting us. Another guy to the right there, top of the escalator. Let's sneak around the right hand side. She's heading for the stairs. They know where I'm going. That's not fair. The game's too clever. So let's. Um, I don't know what to use. There's a guy behind that wall there. You can see his head popping in and out. If I stand up, can I get a shot on him? It's a very wobbly shot. No, I'm not taking that shot. It's too risky. I think I've been spotted. Nice shot. That was like a predetermined shot where he was going to go. So I've got my bow and arrow. There's a guy right there. He's got a rifle. Shit. Where are you? I'll search out here. Ellie's got some sharp shooting skills. There's one more guy coming through to the left. There's two guys, Cray. I threw the Molotov, didn't I? Shit. Um, let's get this guy. Shit, he's found a Molotov. Have I got a brick? I've got a brick. Let's throw a brick at this guy and knife him. Getting shot in the back there. We need to drop down here. It's the only option. So we're getting wrecked. Let's run through this shop. And then heal up onto inside. That was quite messy right there. I tried to um, knife the guy, but I got stuck in a bit of a weird animation. 
I didn't pick any ammo up as well from up there, so I'm restricted now to one arrow. So if we can we've got a brick, nice, that's better than nothing. So we're gonna go back upstairs through here and possibly try and I don't think we're Someone get on the door! Shit, there's a guy right there. Let's try and knife this guy without using the brick. If we scout around behind him. Sneak on, sneak on. Come on, let's go. Let's get him. So I think they know where I am again. Let's just play that noise. We got infected. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. Where's the infected? Okay, I've got to be really careful now. I always believe that infected are easier to kill than humans. So let's hope the infected do take out quite a lot of these humans. That's the door they came through. So while they're distracted, I'm going to go down and um, try and retrieve the ammo that was dropped by a few enemies over here. I think the guy dropped the rifle we could use. So let's crouch, sneak around over here. Rifle, rifle. Pistol, shot. Nice. We're getting some ammo right here, so this should do us hand- Whoa! Whoa! Some rifle shots right there. And we shot a guy with a bow and arrow over here, and there's the arrow! Nice! So we stocked up pretty damn good there with ammo. Then the rifles are one shot kill as well as the arrow against humans. So we got we're in a pretty good position right now. But the only problem is I don't have a clue where they are. And I don't know who won that battle, the infected or the humans. There's a guy there. I'm just gonna shoot that guy, why not? So I'm just gonna get behind this cover. There's a guy coming through, I just seen the edge of his coat, there he is. Shoot his penis. Fuck. Is that is that is that like Ellie telling the player that it's clear or is it saying that there's like one guy left or what? Let's try and pick up any ammo we can find before we do actually carry on. I think I only killed two guys right there and they're both dead. They both have no ammo. So I think it's possibly clear. The humans won that fight against the infected, but also I managed to retrieve a good amount of ammo and take out them all take them all out. So let's check on Joel again. <laughs> Be alive, Joel. There he is. The door. This way. Oh shit, I forgot about this. What about our backpacks? Fuck the backpacks. So we're getting chased by infected. Fuck. Um which which way are we going? Which way are we going? You lead the way. I don't know where to go. Let's go. Open this. All right, lift. Find pop it up with. I'll move it. Hurry. Okay. Need to find something to move. This will do. Let's move this over. Come on. Move, 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 move. Okay, let's go. move. Um. Oh shit! She's got a gun. Oh, I, have I got a gun? I haven't got a gun. What the hell? Can save your ammo. Um, um. I was gonna follow the path that she takes. Ellie, you with me? Yeah, I'm not right behind you. Keep running. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh shit. Uh. Knife this guy. Have we got a knife? Oh, we have. Ooh. Yeah. Finish him off in the brain. Alright. Let's do this. Put a flashlight on, it's getting a bit dark. That's our way out. The scaffolding. Let's do this. Shit. Um in here. Where are we going? We're going through this way. What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> Um, jump over this side. Oh my god, where did all these infected come from? It was clear. Next minute there's shitloads. Yeah. 
Reach up, I got you. Oh shit. <laughs> Ooh, shit, double tap. Oh. Gruesome. She's been watching too many horror films. I think it's clear. Ellie. Ellie, your arm. Yep. That's how it happened. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I've done this before. I'm kind of an expert. Ish. Some more stuff over there you can break. What are we gonna do? The way I see it, we got two options. Option one, you take the easy way out, it's quick and painless. I'm not a fan of option one. Two? We fight. Fight for what? We're gonna turn into one of those things. There are a million ways we should have died before today. And a million ways we can die before tomorrow. But we fight. For every second we get to spend with each other. Whether it's two minutes or two days, we don't give that up. I don't want to give that up. My vote? Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. What's option three? Sorry. Come on. Option three is to chop your arm off. I'd say. But as a kid, it's not an easy task. And that's how it ends. The prequel to The Last of Us. Kind of opened your eyes a bit more to the character of Ellie, even though we did actually know quite a lot about Ellie and how she would um, take on any task that was given to her through the main story. Just a bit of background. Obviously, the fans wanted this. Just, you know, always going to want more Last of Us content, and um, I think they delivered pretty well with that. It's a good story to be told. You know the. I've read a lot of people saying that the um, whole part with Joel, where you're trying to find the medication, was not necessary. But if that wasn't the, if that wasn't in the game, it'd be like an hour long. It'd be pretty short, and I feel like just being brought back. It's a waste to not introduce some of the um, the combat mechanics because they work so well. Not just only is this game a very well told story, 
the combat, the game, the gameplay is just one of the best gameplay experiences you can have on like PS4, even PS3, because that's what it was released for. And it's just, it's so much fun how the AI reacts to every move you take, and um, just even playing on the ground with difficulty, it makes it so much more tense with like the limited supplies. You're pretty much restricted to not even crafting it for most of the time. You're just fighting with your instincts of using bricks, melee, and whatever ammo you can scavenge, and stealth, of course, sneaking past. The only thing they didn't show right there is, um, they didn't actually show what happened as Riley turned, so, I remember Ellie at the end of the main campaign, she tells Joel that Riley lost her mind and Ellie didn't, she's still waiting for her turn. So we don't actually know how that actually um, happened, if they were together, hiding somewhere and rarely turned and how Ellie dealt with it if she had to run away and lock her in a room or if she had to kill her. Maybe she got jumped by Riley and killed her. It was still that's just for the, the player to use their own imagination and finish off the that story because I don't think they're gonna tell it either. Of course, because it just it's just a small part to tell. And they would have told it right there in that DLC if they were gonna tell us. Like, I'm not sure if they're going to be doing any more DLC. My idea for a good DLC would be just anything that happened in the 20 years they didn't show before they, we actually met Joel after the pandemic. Because surely he was up to some crazy shit after the, in those 20 years, the people he'd met. You could, there's endless stories to tell. Whether it be showing even how he met Bill, anyone, how he met Tess. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop talking now and just let, let the um, the credits end, roll on out. So thanks for watching everyone, um, it's quite sad that The Last of Us actually come to an end. I'm no longer making any more videos in the main campaign. I'll probably, I've been playing multiplayer quite a bit. It's pretty damn good actually, if you haven't tried it, you should definitely try it because it's more than just a tagged on multiplayer, it's actually got a lot of life to it. It's um, pretty much stealth based as well. You can. It's one of the first multiplayer games which where stealth works really well in player versus player. So I've been playing that quite a bit. I've been recording a few um, matches I've had as well and I might make a montage of um, some of my successful kill streaks and all stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just playing with a few ideas in my head. And the next game I'm probably going to play is going to be... I'll probably find something in between but next retail game is probably going to be Metro Redux, which includes Metro Last Light and Metro 2033, the two games that were part of the Metro franchise. Alright guys, just wanted to show you guys this quickly. Um, it's the stats that of my performance in the game. All the gameplay I've done has all been recorded and put out in my videos. So obviously you can see I've had 55 deaths there. And there have been parts when I've died when I'm recording and I've, I've just um, kind of cut them out and because I didn't really want to show any deaths just to ruin the experience of the, the flow of the story. So I think 55 deaths is not that bad when you consider I played on grounded difficulty through the whole campaign. And also The Last of Us um, Left Behind DLC on grounded. So I've done... Let's see what, what the stats are like here. Accuracy 82%. That's kind of got to be that high for um, grounded difficulty because you've got to really got to make every shot count. I hit 404 shots, that's a lot of shots to hit with. A lot of chokeouts as Joel, as the stealth approach was um, taken there. These are all collectible stuff, I kind of just completely didn't even look at the collectibles when playing through on Grounded. I'll probably go back and try and get the Platinum Trophy in my own time. Upgraded melee weapon kills, oh first I said 95 is 9, yeah that, makes, that sounds more realistic. 95 melee kills though, that's quite a lot. No close range blow to kill, stalker stealth kills, or defensive clicker shivs. I kind of avoided most of the um, infected. And of course you can see right there, that one there, grounded completion, one time. Took me 13, is that 13 hours to complete? The DLC as well, I think it is. So, um, it's a pretty lengthy game because, considering right there, I knew what I was doing. 
So the first time I played this, I think the main campaign took me like 15 hours. But because I knew what I was doing kind of, it took me less time. So it's, it's a pretty lengthy game for a campaign. A single player campaign, most games today take like... You can get through them first time in like 5 hours. So 15 hours is a good length campaign and also an amazing story to play through. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure playing this game, coming back to it on the remastered version. And I'm just so happy that I got to post videos about it and actually play through it on my channel. Because it's something I really wanted to do when I, when I started play, making YouTube videos. And I um, obviously didn't want to go back to an old game. So I wanted to constantly be making videos of new games. So uh, with that, all that being said guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the whole experience that I went through with this and Grounded Difficulty. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next game I play, which is most likely going to be Retro Metro um, Redux and also probably something else in between, maybe a PSN game I might find that I want to play. Alright, bye!